Hi, Alina. Thanks for sending in your next essays and for writing me such a sweet email. Um, I am, it sounds like you're doing great work in London, a very special hospital to be associated with. And um, I'm sure, yeah, gosh, I'm sure everybody's incredibly grateful for what you do there. It sounds fascinating and must be challenging, as you say, but, but also very special to be involved in that. Um, and yes, so you said to me, are you above 6.5? Absolutely you are. Um, you know, you're writing really beautifully, really, really confident. It's great. It's fluent. It's, you know, it's really looking good. Um, I, I get very nervous giving potential grades, but for me, absolutely, you've got no problems on that one. Uh, okay, so pollution, interesting. Um, give reasons. So this is, uh, what are the reasons and how can it be solved? So we've got two things to do here. One is a description of the reasons and two is offering possible solutions. Um, and then obviously examples. So the debate surrounding the amount of pollutants produced by large cities and its consequences has grown in importance since the advent of industrialization. Good. One of the most significant polluter, polluters, um, you've got pollutants and that is the right word. Um, I, I don't think you can use polluter. Hmm. Okay, let me just do a quick check, actually. There's a, um, uh, I, I would just go um, help issues, maybe, or causes. I don't think you can have polluter like that, because that would be more like a person. Um, and you've got pollutant already, so maybe go either of those. Is the amount of CO2 emitted, I think the spelling has a double T, by vehicles in these cities? Other relevant points include, so this would be, it's more than one point, so it would be plural verb, the quantity of waste produced by people, uh, which also plays, again, a vital role. So watch out on your a uh, verb noun agreement so plays singular because the quantity of waste so the quantity of waste counts as a singular even though there might be a lot of it but the quantity of waste which plays a vital role in this discussion uh, the eminent essay is showing possible solutions good okay uh, firstly there's ample powerful almost daily evidence so that is only with no s that is a plural that the rate of air quality in developed centres are significant. One possible explanation for this event is the dramatic amount of toxic gases produced by cars, um, which here I would, that is concentrating in the atmosphere. You know what, there is absolutely no difference, but for me, which sounds better here? Okay, there's grammatically no difference at all. This is just literally how it reads, so it's not a correction. It's concentrating in the atmosphere. As a solution, a drastic reduction in the number of private vehicles circulating is needed and to address this change authorities might be involved in increasing investment in public okay i think you, when you are making a rec recommendation you should yeah so uh, you should give up smoking you should eat a better diet okay so we're using this modal verb not this one here this is possibility and this is recommendation or suggestion uh, investment spelling that in public transport, lovely. To exemplify the efficacy of this in Rio, the air pollution now here either was reduced, passive, which would be really nice, because it didn't reduce itself, or even better, has been reduced, wasn't perfect, passive. So these give you lovely grammar marks, okay? I'm just going to put them sorry, that um, so you want to pick up the points for grammar where you can as you go along. So that's like fancy grammar, which is a passive in this case. Okay. So definitely need a passive. You could have past simple or present perfect. By nearly 30% after the local government implemented public bike systems, which stimulated people not to use their car. Um, so many people to not use, you don't need to. To not use their cars to commute, to commute, um, 
or easier, leave their cars at home. Would be more natural, okay, um, or to, so the fit, as in yours, is to not use cars to come in. So you need the infinitive there. Okay, but really lovely paragraph. I mean, fabulous writing, super, super good, really clear, amazing vocabulary going all the way through, very uh, coherent. So you've told me what the issue is, and you're telling me immediately what the solution is. Secondly, from a daily life perspective, the amount of waste produced by citizens um, from big cities has increased from less than 0.5 to 1 uh, over the last decade. As a result, these materials, so here is plural, these are disposed into oceans. Are now are sometimes, are often maybe get oh, put a um, one of these little adverbs here. Often disposed into oceans, which leads. So are often disposed, which leads. Further, to uh, contamination in the water. You, you that would have to be a noun. Contamination in the water and reduce uh, verbs on, leads to contamination and reduces its amount available to be consumed by people. Uh, consumed. Okay, it's it's safety. It's safety picking because it's not amount. Okay, safely available. Let's do it there. Because it's it's still available, but it's just not safe. So put in that one there. Okay, so let me just explain these verbs here. So these materials, so this is the subject of your sentence, this one, are often disposed, which leads. So just, oh, okay, th this grammar is a bit difficult. Um, so this which leads so the reason we've got a singular which leads it's basically which means which is referring to the fact that the materials are in the ocean so which is the fact that and then leads to contamination and reduces its amount so it's your the relative pronoun which which is giving you the singular okay uh, one possibility Uh, and then here you could have would be, so keep going on your modal verbs, would be to tackle this problem. Oh. Uh, yeah, I go, I definitely go would be. Um, would be to tackle this problem by investing in. Um, would be to tackle this problem by investing in biodegradable items. Yeah, lovely. As an example in Finland, which boasts one of the lowest rates. So, one of the lowest rates, watch out on the grammar again here. These are just little things, but I want you to understand what's happening here. Uh, when you've got the superlative, you're looking at all the lowest rates as a group, and you've just chosen one of them. So, one of the lowest rates of waste is prohibited by law, um, offering... Prohibited by law, um, by law to offer plastic bags in supermarkets. Yeah, absolutely. Therefore, people should take action to change their daily habits. Uh, however, governments might also enforce it by public policy. Yes, absolutely. Super. Really, really good. Very clear. You've just totally understood it. Excellent. In conclusion, many attitudes are necessary to solve pro pollution problem in developed cities, and it must come from not only people's behaviour change, but also from authorities' enforcement. It's predictable that, and in, uh, in order for any change to occur in five years, um, it may not that's so sad 
be possible to see stars in the sky from large distances. You might have pollutants in the air. Oh, what a sad ending! But what a good bit of writing here. So, um, also from authorities enforcement. Uh, that should be apostrophe s is what it wants there. Uh, it's predictable that in order for uh, any change to occur, yeah, really lovely. Many attitudes are necessary. Many. I think I've got many changes in attitude, actually. In attitude, that's not a plural, or many alterations would be good. This is the kind of debate about what will change from COVID, isn't it? Which is really interesting. Uh, okay, wow. I mean, Alina, you've got this. You've absolutely got this. There's some little grammar mistakes coming in, but they're not major. I mean, they would be noticed. Um, but what you want to make sure is that you're not making the same grammar mistake all the way through. If you make the same mistake, that will the examiner will not like that. If it's little mistakes, that's okay. Um, I'm going to include for you, I don't know if you've seen the marking, uh, the, the public band descriptors. Um, so have a look at that and then you can see what you're doing. Um, and make you do, that might just give you a, a confidence on how it's marked, okay? Uh, so bar chart, here we go. Bar chart illustrates the number of cars sold, whoopsie, sold in nine cities in Europe in one year. The cars are divided into three brands, lovely. Overall, it can be seen from the chart that the popularity of brands given very significantly good. Additionally, regardless of brand, yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Good comparison immediately, got the language, fantastic. The only countries with more than 300, so watch out when you write 300,000, we do it like this. Uh, just under, same thing. And a server respect, yeah. Well, in France, three bands were equally double L popular. Uh, in France, it was slightly more preferred than the than the other ones. Okay, so Germany, but are sold more than two hundred thousand cars in two thousand eighteen. For Germans, BMW and Audi accounted for nearly ninety five. By contrast, in Holland, Ford mm -mm, was more. Ford sales were so Ford sales plural verb were. More than half the total. In regards of Irish brand car preference, uh, it belongs to BMW. To Sandra, yep. In contrast, uh, so two of them were the two most most sold car brands. Plural. Watch out these plurals among Polish citizens together accounting. So here you can have a present participle there, which would be quite neat. Uh, either together they accounted, you'd need to put the subject in there again, or here accounting. Um, sorry, that's not wrong. It's uh, for nearly 80% of the total. In Italy, where the sales of vehicles were just under 100,000, so again, watch out on your. Um, really check this, okay, because if this is a thing that you don't like, <laughs> uh, subject verb agreement. Um, this is something the examiner would get really cross about. Okay, once maybe, lots of times no. Um, under a hundred thousand, because it, it, like by your your writing is so good that this you shouldn't make that error. Yeah. Um, by far preference is BMW. Conversely, Belgium, the country with the least number sales, for was basically the mm, was basically the only brand sold. Uh, basically, can be a little bit informal the way we. Think of the way we use basically in speech um, was uh, in reality would be okay. It's a little bit more formal, or was clearly okay. The only brand sold. Okay, fantastic writing. Really, really good, Lena. I'm so happy for you. This is so good. Uh, you keep going. Oh, I think your exam is very soon, isn't it? Is it um, Friday? Friday or Saturday, I think you said. Uh, I'll do your speaking later, but wanted to just get this back to you now. Well done.